Hey guys, what's up? This is Chrissy with Everyday Tidbits. Welcome back to another What's For Dinner. Today I have three easy recipes for you. Before each recipe, there is a list of ingredients so you can take a screenshot and save it for later. The first recipe I have for you is creamy tortellini soup, which I'm making in my Instant Pot, cooked on the slow cooker function. The first thing I'm going to do is dice up my onion and garlic. If you have not already, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell notifications so that you're notified every time I post. You can also follow me on Instagram at everyday underscore tidbits. If you are new to my channel, my name is Chrissy. I like to post videos about cooking, cleaning, some crafts, everyday lifestyle vlogs, and vlogs about my job as a paramedic, and I would love for you to be a part of it. Set your pot to the saute function, then add some olive oil so you can saute your onions, your garlic, and brown your sausage until it's fully cooked. Once your sausage, garlic, and onions are fully cooked, you can go ahead and add in your crushed tomatoes and your diced tomatoes. Add four cups of water and four teaspoons of chicken bouillon. Change your Instant Pot's function to slow cook and then cook it on low for 5 hours. After about 2 hours, cube up your cream cheese and then add that in and give it a good stir. In the last hour of cooking time, we are going to add our bag of frozen tortellini. Wow. 
Once that hour is up and just before serving, we're going to add a bag of baby spinach and stir it until it wilts. And here's what it looks like when it was done. This was so good guys, definitely a comfort food dish and it was very filling, perfect for a cold winter's day. On this particular day, it was beautiful out, so I decided to grill some chicken on the grill. The first thing I did was cut my chicken breasts in half because they were pretty thick and it gave me six chicken breasts. As you can probably see, my chicken was still partially frozen. I had taken it out last night and it was defrosting in the refrigerator, but it was still a little bit frozen. That's okay because I'm going to marinate it and by the time it's done marinating, it should be fully defrosted and ready for the grill. This Lowry's Lemon Herb and Garlic Marinade is probably one of my favorites. It's also my daughter's favorite. Every time I make chicken with this marinade, she gobbles it right up. And she's a little bit of a picky eater, so that's saying a lot. So what I'm doing is I'm going to fully immerse my chicken breasts in this marinade, cover it, and refrigerate it for at least two to four hours. I'm going to be serving my chicken with this brown rice recipe courtesy of Mandy from Mandy in the Making. She does have her own YouTube channel, so shout out to Mandy. Thank you for this recipe. As you can see here, I am taking a cup of white rice. Regular white rice, guys, do not use long grain rice. I made that mistake and I had to fix it. So anyway, take a cup of white, regular white rice, rinse it through a colander, then you're gonna add it to a baking dish with one can of beef consomme and one can of French onion soup. Give everything a good stir, then cover it with tin foil. Then you're going to bake it in an oven at 350 for between 50 and 60 minutes or until your rice is thoroughly cooked. And now it's time to grill our chicken. I am spraying the grill first. This is optional. Some people do, some people don't. I like to spray my grill with a nonstick spray at first. Then I'm going to cook my chicken breast for a couple of minutes on each side. Once your chicken is cooked, remove it to a clean dish and cover it until you're ready to serve it. I served our chicken and rice with this chopped Caesar salad kit from ShopRite. And here is the finished dish. The next dish I have for you is a very easy shrimp scampi over fettuccine. The first step is to saute our shrimp in some butter until it's cooked, and you'll know it's cooked when it turns pink. I saw this skillet sauce on the shelf at the supermarket and I was pretty intrigued by it. I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, but it actually turned out really good. So after your shrimp is cooked, you're just gonna add that right on top, just pour it in. That's it, super easy. I added a little bit of salt and pepper to it and then I gave it a good stir.
When your pasta water comes to a boil, you're going to liberally salt it and then add in your pasta and cook it till it's al dente. After you drain your pasta, you're going to add it to the pot with the shrimp and give it a good toss and then you're ready to serve. And here's what it looks like when it was done. It was actually really, really good. I did sprinkle some parsley on top and I served it with some garlicky, cheesy Texas toast on the side. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate your support. Please hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell notifications so that you're notified every time I post. And please follow me on Instagram at everyday underscore tidbits because I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube and Instagram family. I hope everyone's being safe and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.